Good afternoon, or should I say evening, uh, morning, morning? At any rate, I am the Game Master, pleased to make your acquaintance. Before we begin, there is something I must tell you. You see, my job is to draw you into this world with my voice and cards, which is why I believe it best for you to play with the sound on. In fact, I insist on it. However, as you can see, my voice is subtitled, so you can always read along as well. Now then, are you ready? Let's begin. <clears throat> Welcome to Voice of Cards. You are about to take the first steps of your adventure. Through a realm of sword and sorcery you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. I, I am merely a witness to your exploits. Now then, your departure draws nigh. May your journey be a safe one. We begin in a cave. The surrounding rocks are slimy with damp. It feels as if some foul creature could leap out from the shadows at any moment. gathers a fellowship of three adventurers. One is a young woman. You can tell just by looking at her, she enjoyed a good upbringing. Another is a stoic warrior. He stands at the ready, scanning his surroundings for any sign of threat. Last but not least is the old man. He has a sagely air, and gazes into the darkness stretching out before him. These adventurers seek a certain treasure hidden in this cave. before you. It has rather conspicuous handles.
The stoic man takes hold of the handles and pushes as hard as he can, but the door doesn't so much as budge. The stoic man winds his leg back and lets fly a powerful kick into the door. As his foot connects, the door trundles to the side. So it was one of those sliding contraptions. Something leaps out at the fellowship from the darkness. These adventurers have seen their fair share of battle and defeat their attackers with ease. Before the wary trio appear creatures the likes of which they've never seen.
young woman edges around the monster's bulk to stand before the treasure chest. There is treasure inside, no doubt about it, but it's locked tight. The woman slides the simple key into the lock. The chest clicks open. Inside is what appears for all the world to be an ordinary medicine bottle. At last, we've retrieved the royal treasure, the old man says. The woman and warrior exchange a nod. Their quest complete, a triumphant trio put the cave behind them. This is Castle Advent. Queen Nilla reigns over the kingdom from within its walls. In the crowded audience chamber jostle all manner of knights, adventurers, and bounty hunters. The white-robed adventurers stand close to the throne. A palace guard calls over the tumult. Be silent. Her royal majesty graces us with her presence. The cacophony ceases the moment Queen Nilla enters the chamber. Seated upon the throne, the queen faces the crowd. Her lips part. Thank you all for heeding my call to slay the dragon. Whatever it takes to defeat this reawakened evil, I ask that you do it. Whomsoever conquers this beast will be honored for ages to come and handsomely rewarded. At that, the gathered crowd cheers loud enough to shake the castle's very foundations. Leave the dragon to us, your majesty, say the white-robed adventurers, as if the beast's demise at their hands is assured. Indeed, you did well to reclaim the royal treasure, the queen replies. I thank you, for my stomach becomes most upset without it, so the treasure is a staple of the royal medicine cabinet. It puts my mind at ease to know the Ivory Order offers its aid in slaying the dragon. The trio are disciples of the Ivory Order, a charitable organization beloved the realm over. Indeed, anyone would think this illustrious trio the heroes of our tale. But they'd be wrong. Thank you. 
So we just gotta slay the dragon and we'll be drowning in gold. The man trails off, drooling over unknowable fantasies. Beside him, a strange creature lets out a chirping coo. Uh, pay attention, because this is important. There he is, or there you are, I should say, the hero of our tale. A humble bounty hunter. You love little in this realm more than coin. A seemingly tedious fellow who doesn't hesitate to claim the title of hero for yourself. When you heard about the quest to slay the dragon, it was the promise of reward that lured you to the castle. Now then, if you wish to officially register for the hunt, see me so I can get your signature. You wonder why you need to sign anything, but head for the guard anyway. Shall we? That reward for slaying the dragon is as good as mine, barks the man. You think the dragon's really as tough as they say, asks the man, his knees knocking together. The man takes one look at your companion and shrieks, Monster! Have you registered yet? says the guard. Scared of the dragon? scoffs the guard. You haven't yet registered for the quest to slay the dragon. Go see the guard near the queen. We of the Ivory Order will be the ones to restore peace to the land brags a white-robed man. My colleague made me come along, but he didn't mention we were going on a quest to slay the dragon, she says, trembling. You'll need tough gear if you're going to beat the dragon the man tells you. Keep your ears perked. You never know what you might hear that'll lead you in the right direction, the man says, you think. If the heroes of the Ivory Order are hunting the dragon, he's as good as dead, says the man. Relief spreading across his face. The Ivory Order Trio stands before you. They seem not the most approachable of parties, but...
You inquire about their identities. We are disciples of the Ivory Order. It is our duty to aid the realm and its people however we can. The Order's principal focus is developing medicine to distribute to people throughout the world. They begin blathering an answer to a question you didn't even ask. Sensing a long lecture ahead, you seize on the first chance to extricate yourself from their presence. You try to speak to the trio again, but they're too involved in hashing out some sort of plan of attack to pay you any mind. You try to speak to Queen Nilla, but a guard blocks your path. Figures a nobody bounty hunter can't just walk up to a queen and start chatting like their best friends. Sign here, says the guard, handing you a pen and paper. You sign your name. After you've signed, the guard motions to the strange creature beside you. The monster, too. You sign your companion's name as well. Mar. Mar, your friend and sometimes traveling companion. Though he can't speak the human tongue, he seems to understand it well enough. Thank you. Now we'll know what to have engraved on your tombstones. Can't ask the dead what name to mark their grave with, after all, the guard chortles. You want the reward as badly as you don't want to die. You figure you better make some strong friends. Offer to join forces with the Ivory Order Trio? 
We select few are sufficient to defeat the dragon. We require no additional aid. And we certainly don't require the aid of a no-name Wastrel. With that, the trio takes their leave of the castle. I'll let the Order handle this. Me, I'm heading home. Never know what you might hear that'll lead you in the right direction. The man wanders off somewhere, muttering to himself. You'll need tough gear, the man says, wandering off. Let us depart. We have a realm to save. He grabs his less than enthused colleague by the wrist and drags her off. You catch a glimpse of the terrified look on her face. And then the two disappear out of the audience chamber. You ask him to team up, but he refuses angrily. I ain't splitting the reward with nobody. You weren't planning on sharing either, so you don't try to change his mind. Before you even open your mouth to ask him to team up, he cuts you off. Thanks, but no thanks. No way am I adventuring with anyone who keeps that sort of creepy company, he says. I am one of the guards charged with the castle's protection. I take not a single step from my post. I am one of the guards charged with the castle's protection. I'll leave the dragon slaying to you adventurers. You've yet to find any help for your quest. Things don't look that reassuring as they are, but the decision is up to you. Don't get yourself killed out there, says the guard curtly. Asking Queen Nilla to join you is beyond preposterous. Better not even try. The castle will close to visitors shortly. Please be on your way. You're shooed out of the castle. In the end, you set out just the two of you to hunt the dragon.